Question number one says that find the value of the division given in each of the bits of this question. We'll be starting with the first bit where we have 0 0.4 which is to be divided by 2. Now 0 0.4 can be written as 4 by 10 which is to be divided by 2. So when we are trying to divide 0 0.4 that is 4 by 10 by 2, we can write it as a product of 4 by 10 and the reciprocal of the other number. So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 by 2. Now 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. We are left with 2 over 10 and that is 0 0.2. So the answer for 0 0.4 divided by 2 is 0 0.2. Coming to the second bit where we have 0 0.35 which can be written as 35 over 100. The division can be written as the product of two numbers wherein we write the first number as it is and the second number becomes the reciprocal. So we get the reciprocal of 5 by flipping it and so we get it as 1 by 5. So now 5 ones are 5, 5 sevens are 35. 7 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.07 as the answer for the second bit. Similarly coming to the third bit we have 2.48 which can be written as 248 divided by 100. Division can be replaced with a multiplication sign and 4 has to be flipped so that we get its reciprocal. So we write it as 1 by 4. Now 248 divided by 4 gives us 62. Now 62 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.62 as the answer for the third bit. Coming to the fourth bit we have 65.4 divided by 6. So 65.4 can be written as 654 divided by 10. Division is replaced with a multiplication sign and we have to write the reciprocal of 6 which is 1 over 6. 654 when divided by 6 gives us the answer as 109 which is to be divided by 10. So the final answer for the fourth bit is 10.9. Now we'll be moving on to the next set of bits. In the fifth bit we have 651.2 which is to be divided by 4. So we can write it as 6512 divided by 10. Now division is replaced with a multiplication sign and we write the reciprocal of 4 which is 1 over 4. So that gives us the answer as 162.8. Because when 6512 is divided by 4, we get 1628, which on division by 10 gives us the answer as 162.8. Coming to the sixth bit, we have 14.49, which is to be divided by 7. 14.49 can be written as 1449 divided by 100. Division is replaced with a multiplication sign, and we write the reciprocal of 7 as 1 over 7. 1449 on division by 7 gives us 207 which is to be divided by 100. So the final answer that we get for the 6th bit is 2.07. Coming to the 7th bit where we have 3.96 which is to be divided by 4 we write 3.96 as 396 divided by 100. Division is replaced with a multiplication sign and the reciprocal of 4 is 1 over 4. Now 396 on division by 4 gives us 99 which is to be divided by 100. And so our final answer comes as 0 0.99 for the 7th bit. Coming to the 8th bit which is the last bit of this question. 0 0.80 can be written as 80 over 100. Division is replaced with a multiplication sign. 5's reciprocal is 1 over 5. 80 divided by 5 is 16. And 16 divided by 100 is 0 0.16. So this is the answer for the 8th bit. And this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.